this is me, or this was me, and this is my support system. This is Paul Paul G coming at you. Just wanted to give an update to you. Uh, today we are 35 days out in the liquid diet. Uh, we've already done had our bariatric surgery, and uh, I'm still drinking those shakes and eating the popsicles, the sugar-free popsicles, and uh, I'm just uh, excited about what I'm doing. Uh, I've been drinking water. That water is a main thing in a diet if you're going to lose weight because. They say the water helps to remove the fat from your body. And so we're, we're hoping that uh, we can uh, lose a lot more weight. I was supposed to went in this past Wednesday for a checkup, but they called me and they had uh, made my appointment wrong. It's supposed to have been for this Wednesday. And so this Wednesday I'm going to uh, have a blog and I will show you what the scale says. And so uh, I'm excited to see what it's going to be. I, I'm hoping to be at least 50, maybe 60 pounds lost now. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. And I do apologize for telling you wrong. I just found out at the last minute. So uh, I've kind of been down a little bit. And I had sprained an ankle and uh, and hurt my knee. So I hadn't been blogging and I apologize for that. But uh, we're going to keep going with this thing until we win it. And uh, we know that there's a lot of people out there that need what we're doing. And I highly recommend the bariatric surgery, the sleeve surgery. Uh, there's, there's some pain involved in it, and uh, but once you get over the pain, then all you got to do is just keep going with your diet. And uh, I promise you, you won't eat much once you have that surgery. Uh, you know, I want to encourage people out there that if you're overweight, and you're looking to lose weight, don't, don't let nothing stop you from losing weight. It's just a mind thing. You know, we talk about addictions, uh, drug addiction, and, and we talk about uh, drinking and stuff like that, those addictions that people have. But, uh, you know, the truth is that some of us have food addiction. So I know I have overcome uh, the sugar and, and different things. I'm a cornbread man. I like cornbread. If I have greens, I want cornbread. If I have cabbage, I want cornbread. But since I've been on this diet, I have had a mind change, and uh, I want to do things a little different. I'm not telling you I won't ever have cornbread again, but it won't be cornbread at every meal. It won't be fried at every meal. It'd be some baked and grilled and things like that. Now, you can do this thing like I can. So let me encourage you that if you want to get on a diet, just start eating right. If you can't afford the surgery, just pray and ask God to help you have it because he helped me and and it was taken care of. So I want to let you know that we are 35 days, and uh, I never dreamed I would be 35 days on a liquid diet. So I'm, I'm encouraging my family, let's, let's eat right, let's do right. Not that we're not going to splurge every once in a while. Of course, I can't splurge much because I can't eat much right now. So I just want to reach out to everybody out there and tell you that uh, – if I could get my arms around you, I'd hug you and tell you thank you for all the support you've given me and uh, and for all the good things you said. And uh, my old buddy Rick out there, uh, Ricky, he has really been a big, big inspiration in texting or, or talking back to me on the, on the blog and uh, telling me, you know, keep going, brother. You got this, uh, you know. Uh, Miss Crafty Girl 42, she has just been phenomenal about encouraging me. Uh, the Becca JB, uh, she has just been right there with me. And I encourage you to go and look at their blogs and what they have because they have a lot of good interesting stuff. Uh, I want to thank all of my good friends. Our church family has been praying for me. I thank you for that. I want to thank God for my wife and my children that have really been an inspiration to me. They've helped me whenever I didn't know if I could keep going on. So, you know, uh, just uh, pray for us and we'll keep going. And uh, we're going to touch back base with you Wednesday with another weigh-in. 
and uh, let you know how we're doing. So until then, this is Papa G saying we'll talk to you later.